and welcome back to the Wondershare eDrawSoft channel. Ever wondered how companies like Netflix or Amazon keep their apps running smoothly across thousands of servers or how your smart home devices seamlessly talk to the cloud? The secret lies in UML deployment diagrams and today I'm going to show you exactly how to master them. In this video, I'll walk you through designing UML deployment diagrams step-by-step -step using eDraw Max. By the end of this video, you're gonna be able to map any system from cloud networks to smart home IoT setups with confidence and precision in the unified modeling language. Deployment diagrams are categorized as structural diagrams because they model the physical architecture of a system. These diagrams illustrate how software artifacts such as executables, libraries, or configuration files are distributed across hardware infrastructure. Now let's dive into the key elements of a deployment diagram, nodes. Nodes represent the physical hardware or environments where software components are deployed. Examples include servers, workstations, routers, cloud platforms, and mobile devices. They act as the hosts for your system software. Number two, components. Components are software modules deployed onto nodes. These include executables, libraries, databases, APIs, or microservices. They define what runs on the hardware, like a payment processing service on a server. Three, artifacts. Artifacts are the physical files that implement components like .exe files, scripts, .jar files, databases, or configuration files. They represent the actual code or data deployed on nodes. Number four, Dependencies. Dependencies indicate required interactions between components or nodes, like a web app might depend on a database to function or a server might require specific operating system settings. Number five, associations. Associations map which components are deployed on which nodes. For instance, a user authentication API component might be associated with a cloud server node. Number six, deployment. Specific deployment specifications define configuration details for nodes and components, such as hardware, requirements like RAM, CPU, software versions, security protocols, or network settings. Number seven, communication paths. Communication paths show how nodes interact. These include network connections like HTTP, TCP slash IP, or physical links like Bluetooth and USB. So now let's discuss the key symbols and notations involved in creating a UML deployment diagram. Here, the first symbol we're going to discuss is one component. A component is a self-contained reusable building block of a system. It represents a software module, class, or package that encapsulates specific functionality like a payment processing service or user authentication module. Components can be developed tested and deployed independently, making them ideal for modular systems or microservices architectures. Component is represented by a rectangle with two smaller rectangles on its sides. Next up, we have artifact. An artifact is a concrete file or package deployed onto a node in a system. It represents the physical implementation of software components, such as executable programs, configuration files, libraries, or documentation. Artifact is represented by a rectangle with a folded corner. Now moving on to three interface. An interface defines a contract between components, specifying the operations or methods that they implement to interact. It acts as a gateway for communication between components or subsystems, ensuring consistency in how they exchange data or trigger actions. Interface is represented by a circle. Next up is number four, node. A node represents a physical hardware device or computational environment where software components and artifacts are deployed. Node is represented by a 3D box. It represents a physical machine where different components run. Lastly, we have number five, communication path. A communication path represents a physical or logical connection between two nodes, enabling them to exchange data or signals. It defines how devices, servers, or systems interact, whether through wired networks, wireless protocols, or software-based communication. Now, let's walk through the complete process of how to create your very own deployment diagram using eDrawMax, a free-to-use diagramming tool that lets you create deployment diagrams for free. First, you're gonna open up eDrawMax, Go over to new, click on UML deployment diagram to start from scratch. Alternatively, you can browse through the various templates of effective deployment diagrams based on your requirements and start from there. 
For this tutorial, we'll choose to draw from a blank canvas to show you the entire process. Now, once you've selected the deployment diagram option, you'll be presented with a blank canvas. And to begin creating your diagram, you can use the simple library on the left-hand side of the screen. You can click on the symbol icon next to the template section. In the pop-up window, search for UML deployment diagram symbols, scroll down to find relevant symbols for nodes, components, artifacts, and communication paths. Finally, click add to my workbench to add these symbols to your library. Now that you have all the necessary symbols in your library, you can start building your deployment diagram. You're gonna wanna drag and drop the symbols into the drawing page. Use connection lines to link the components, nodes, and artifacts, and arrange the symbols to represent the physical architecture of your system, including nodes, components, and communication paths. You can continue drawing your deployment diagram by aligning and distributing the shapes. Use different colors or patterns to identify specific parts of the diagram, such as nodes, components, or communication paths. Make sure to label each element accordingly to ensure clarity and understanding. For example, label nodes with their respective hardware names and components with their software functions. So once you've finished drawing, you can get a better view of your diagram by deselecting rulers and grid lines. This will give you a cleaner look at your deployment diagram. Then select the from current page option to view the diagram in full screen, just like we do every time we finish. After completing your deployment diagram, you can save it for later edits or share it online. To save your file, click on file, then go to export. You can save it in commonly used file formats such as Excel, Word, or PDF. To help you better understand deployment diagrams, let's wrap up by showing you some of the classic examples here. These are really useful. Deployment diagrams for a library management system. A deployment diagram is a powerful tool for visualizing how software components are deployed across hardware infrastructure. One of the most popular templates here is the deployment diagram for a library management system. It shows how different components of the system, such as the application server, database server, and admin are distributed across various nodes. In this example, the library management system is deployed across multiple servers. Application server, which hosts the main software application, including the library management software and API gateway. The database server, which stores all the library data, including book records, user information, and transaction logs. The admin machine, which allows administrators to manage the system, update records, and monitor activities. Next, we have the deployment diagram for ATM. A deployment diagram really is essential for understanding the physical deployment of an ATM system. This example illustrates how various hardware and software components work together to process banking transactions securely and efficiently. In this example, the ATM system is deployed across multiple nodes. The ATM device includes essential components like ATM interface, card reader, cash dispenser, and receipt printer. These artifacts ensure that users can interact with the system, withdraw cash, and receive printed receipts. The bank network handles encrypted requests and ensures secure data transmission as well. The authentication server hosts the authentication service that verifies users' credentials before processing transactions. The bank application server manages transaction authorization and updates the account balance every transaction. And the database server stores customer and account data, ensuring accurate record keeping and data retrieval. For more classic examples, make sure to visit our template community by just clicking the link in the description down below. So that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for joining us in this tutorial on creating UML deployment diagrams with Wondershare eDrawMax. In this tutorial, this is what we covered. What deployment diagrams are and why they matter. The key elements, including nodes, components, artifacts, dependencies, and communication paths, a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own deployment diagram in eDrawMax, and real-world examples to help you understand their applications. If there's another tutorial that you'd like to see, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below, and we'll make sure to consider your requests. Don't forget to subscribe for more eDrawMax tutorials, and check the description down below for a link to try out eDrawMax online or download it. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.